everyone um, wanted to do an uh, upload on a big question that keeps popping up and I haven't really addressed is acne okay acne is a reality with PCOS for most of us including myself people don't generally believe me when I say that my face was completely covered in acne and uh, including my back so making the short and simple what you need to be doing first lots and lots of water I know it's regurgitated information but it's true drinking lots of water uh, nourishing your cells getting rid of the toxins exercising uh, whether it you know be through weightlifting or cardio sweating it out as much as you can if you're able to going to a sauna also releases the toxins um, because what happens is the testosterone imagine testosterone, the t testosterone stuck in your system you have to release it supplements omega-3 zinc vitamin B B6 particularly if you take a multivitamin B that's fine but if you don't take B6 and uh, magnesium along with vitamin C for collagen production um, diet stop eating cheese and milk big one I know that's a hard one for a lot of people but that creates mucus and creates other um, binding issues within your system that can enlarge pores and all that stuff so stop eating the dairy um, if you are still after not stopping to stopping the dairy if you're still having acne then I would recommend that you kind of go on a more vegan vegetarian diet for a few months to allow your system to kind of cleanse itself. Now, if you're on a ketogenic diet or a paleo diet, um, that's a different type of diet. But if you're in a high carb diet, um, and you're, I would suggest if you can get off the meat for a little bit if your acne still persists after you've stopped dairy. Um, again, contact me about that if you have any further questions. The other part is, um, so the water, obviously, don't drink pop, um, controlling your insulin. Obviously, testosterone is high, you want to control your insulin, so control your insulin through proper diet, important. External. What changed my life was, thanks, thanks to my friend Sarah, she actually dragged me to something I was not familiar with, was it was a facial. And that facial changed my trajectory completely. Um, at that time, I couldn't afford a facial more than once a year. So I had my first facial, noticed a big difference. And in between the time between each year, because I had a yearly facial, and I still actually have a yearly facial, is in between that timeline, um, I discovered a product, and you're probably familiar with it, the Clinique um, uh, line has an excellent toner, toners, I should say. I use number three and still use number three. I was given it at that time and I still use number three because I find it's the most hardest. <laughs> and I know people argue on this harsh aspect of, you know, uh, for your skin. Everyone's different, do what is best for your skin. But for me, that was the number they gave me. I'm still sticking to it and I use that to clean up the guck before I apply my cream or oil, like olive oil or something. If you can't do that, lemon. Lemon, um, I can't stand, say enough about lemon juice. So lemon mixed with milk and so forth, you can add it to your skin or just use fresh lemon and just quickly do, do over and wash your face and that is toning in itself. So lemon is amazing. At the end of the day, what's going on here is that the testosterone is fighting through your skin and breaking out in acne. So how you're gonna control it is through water, diet, reduction of dairy, taking your supplements, reducing your testosterone, and um, essentially taking care of your skin from the, from the external part. I highly advise that you do not wear makeup. Allow your skin to breathe, and that's usually a big, um, I know it's a hard one. Um, a lot of people are used to wearing makeup, and I understand, but you stay away from the makeup while you're healing your skin. Your skin needs to breathe. It really, really does. Also, that goes again, counterintuition when it comes to acne is when you're moisturizing your skin. So depending on your acne, but you cleanse it either with a lemon or a toner that you have, like I was using the Clinique one, and then you moisturize it. But I would recommend using olive oil on the skin. Um, 
or sesame um, seed oil on the skin, which is really good for moisturizing and kind of you know uh, penetrating penetrating the skin. I know it's counterintuitive, I understand, but it works. Avocado. Okay, another thing you can also do is if you want you don't want to use any of any other any products, you just you just want to use natural stuff. Use lemon juice. Wash your face. Get an avocado. Eat the avocado as well, but get an avocado and lather your face with it, like just cover your face with it and, and let it sit for, you know, a good 10 minutes. Wash your face off. Then apply honey, add that onto your skin, and then wash your face off. You can end off with moisturizing with a cream and or an oil, or even like coconut oil actually. Coconut oil, olive oil, sesame seed oil. These are my recommendations. Any questions or comments, please let me know and I'm hoping this will help because my skin, like I said, I'm not even kidding. You can ask my mom, you can ask my friends, you can ask my family. I had severe killer acne and it, the stuff that I'm telling you is exactly what's worked for me. So give it a shot and let me know. Okay, all the best and I'll be in touch again. Alright, take care. Bye.